Hello there. Today I've got a very serious question for you. And that is, am I going absolutely star gravy mad? Well actually there's a good reason for that question. And obviously there's a good answer to by now you probably know about my channel and what I think about machines and every day in the comment section and emails to me I have you know youngsters of over 13 years old and uh, upwards um, all age groups actually saying to me that um, they would like to get into the CNC hobby, CNC and lasers. They, they check on the internet to find a machine suitable for their needs and of course it's all too expensive and, uh, and it is. It's a very expensive hobby. So what I am going to do in the next uh, series of videos, actually it's going to be a bit of a gap uh, because I'm not expecting the packages that I've ordered uh, for about another week and a half. So there'll be a, a bit of a gap, but I'll, I'll do some other videos as I normally would do until these packages arrive. And what I've done is I have I have ordered the best small CNC router that I could find and I've looked at it from an engineering perspective uh, so I have found the strongest one that I can um, for the least amount of money and I am going to modify this little CNC router to be the best it possibly can. Uh, not only that, not only have I ordered a the, this little CNC router part of it, I've actually ordered a laser to fit onto this unit as well. Um, and for the price, the best I could possibly get. Now, obviously there's going to be some modification work. So if you have a 3D printer, or you have a friend that has a 3D printer, buy him a slab of beer and ask him to print some parts out for you. Because uh, what I will do is I will design the parts in Fusion 360 and I will make available uh, all the designed modified parts on my Patreon pages which you can uh, download all the STL files you want okay for two dollars okay that's the maximum payment two dollars and I think that is very very reasonable and the whole of this project, okay, whether it be the little CNC router or the laser part of it, with modifications, I am trying to actually do for less than $350. But at the end of it, you have a little CNC router or CNC laser that you can learn from. It's far better to spend $350 and learn as you go and get to, to use the programs. Oh, that's another thing too. I will be using all free programs uh, and there will be a couple of programs uh, as well that are very, very cheap. You know, we're talking under fifty dollars here. Um, so I'll stress again: there will be some programs that are free, 
that you can do everything that you see I'm doing. All right. And also there'll be a couple of programs, if you so desire, um, that you do have to pay a small fee. But they're all good programs. Okay. The software to run the machine, all free. Okay. It's, uh, it's actually called Gerbil. Okay. So you look up Gerbil and uh, you'll be able to find out all about it. Um, and of course the the board at the back there is an Arduino. All funny names aren't they? So this is the basic machine. This is Australian dollars and I actually got it cheaper than that. You will, if you go on to Banggood or Gearbest or eBay, you'll see this machine or ones like it. And some of them they're asking 450 US dollars. Don't pay it. There's no need to. Okay, so what I intend to do is when I receive this, I will unbox it and I will build it in every detail for you and we will test run it and I can tell you now that this little motor on here I think it's a hundred and it's about a hundred watts okay it hasn't got the best bearings in it um, it's got an ER11 collet which is half right but it's just not man enough for the job um, not what I would consider man enough anyway. And I have seen people put a modify, um, one of similar machine to this, with a 500 watt motor. Well, that's lunacy. You can't use 500 watts on a frame of this size. You'll tear it apart. However, now this is the 500 watt DC, 100 volt DC unit is downright dangerous because this power supply does not have an earth and it's a metal unit. Now, people with any knowledge of electrics or electronics are wise enough to actually put their own earth on it but it doesn't naturally come with an earth connection so there is a lot of these sold around the world and people are using them and they could well them or someone with them one of their kids could get an electric shock and we all know what that means not only only that this is too heavy and it is um, it's too powerful it's overpowered for that frame framework so if you were considering off your own back to do a modification, do not go for one this size. I would say definitely do not buy this particular one with that particular power unit because it's dangerous. Okay. This is a sensibly designed one and it's the same price. This is a recognized power DC, AC DC power unit or converter to supply DC power to this with a variable speed control and it has an earth it has a sealed compartment so little fingers can't go in there and get electric shock this is what I would advise to use and most definitely this size motor because it's 300 watts and half the weight.
of the other one. Now to make the conversion to this it will be necessary to, if I can backtrack here, to, for, for me, to redesign this holder then, this boss, because it's a different diameter. Okay, so I think it's another five millimeters larger in diameter, so it won't fit that one. And not only that, the bearings in here are not man enough to take it. So I'm going to have to redesign this. Like I say, the SDL files will be available. And um, just put new bearings in that. And we will strengthen the stru structure up in places where we d discover that you know, it needs a little bit more. And we may even put a third rail up here, a third linear slide there, to cope with the uh, extra forces that might be put on it. So that's the CNC router part of it. Now I've already described the uh, programs. Uh, we'll also be using Easel, which is from Inventables. And that is also a free program. Very good little program, that. And of course, a laser. I've ordered a 550 milliwatt. So that's five, five and a half watt laser. Um, it's a blue laser. So that means you can see this one. Not like mine, which is a CO2 laser that uh, is invisible. Um, this one you can, it will actually, this is um, balsa wood, it's uh, I think two millimeters, and it will actually cut through this, not as clean as my big laser, but it will cut through it and it will do beautiful little etching on here, uh, little pictures or whatever. Uh, we'll discover together what it actually can do. So that's what I intend to do. I do realise that there's a lot of people out there that uh, would like to get into CNC routers and lasers. You know, get into the into the hobby. And uh, you know, and I will stress that this machine and what I'm going to do with it, even though I'm operating it to make it the best possible little router and laser that it can be. It is not a commercial device. It's not, it, it is definitely a hobby device of interest for you to learn with and do little projects for yourself. So, I hope you're going to join me for the series of videos. Um, people who know my channel will know that I don't do uh, things very quick. In other words, I don't do all the conversion in one video. I do my conversions so you can fully understand it and you can replicate it yourself if you wish. So, you know, this could take four, five or even six videos to do the, the full conversion and testing and showing you how to work with the programs. So that's what's in store uh, for the next few weeks. Um, but I won't be taking delivery of this for about another week and a half. So I hope uh, you will join me and uh, well, I'll see you then. So it's... Bye for now.